I'm back today with another video but before I get started on all the details guys please make sure to hit the subscribe button it is free and also turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Um, so this video is long overdue this one is by the company Genius Wigs this is my first time working with the company but this is one of their newer units you probably have seen this reviewed on YouTube already but this is their new wet and wavy unit so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like straight out of the package and yes I have my little robe on because I'm gonna wet the hair and I did not want my good shirt to get really wet so but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what this unit looks like well what comes in the package you get a comb you get an elastic band and they also hook you up with a wig cap. This is the unit. I have the 13 by six, um, 18 inch, 180% in density. And this unit already comes straightened for you guys. That is what it looks like. It's been sitting in the package, so it might have a little bit of dents to it, which I can easily flat iron that out. But on this unit, you get two combs in the front, a comb in the back, a comb in the middle and your adjustable straps and then this is the 13 by 6 parting area and the knots are dark they're a little bit dark they did go ahead and pluck out the front of that hairline it looks really good so far without me having to put it on but it looks really good so far but as far as the bleaching goes they look lightly bleached, but you will definitely have to probably go back over it if you wanted the bleach look, or you can add some powder or some of your even New York tint spray. I know a lot of you guys always wonder how a unit is going to look once it is straightened, like your wet and wavy and curly units, and the company already sends it like this for you. So all you have to do is add your products on if you want it to revert back, but we're gonna see how well this unit is going to revert back. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this and then I will give you more details on this unit. Um, I did go and get my nails redone because a lot of you guys are always asking about my nails or mentioning about my nails. But I just wanted to show you guys, hopefully it picks up. But there they are, holiday theme. They're really, really pretty. Really, really pretty. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this and then you guys will see the before and the after and my thoughts on this unit. I'm just putting on the unit and I am just going to move those baby hairs out of the way. And then I am going to make sure that everything is adjusted right because I am gonna have to go in and cut off some lace over by the side of my ear. Now this is a medium cap size. I do get questions all the time. Like if you know you're small, why didn't you get a small? Well, most of the time, some companies don't ask me about my head size, especially when it's a newer company. So they'll usually just send the average cap size, which is a medium but they do offer a small, medium, and a large on the website, so you don't have to worry about not having options. I cut the lace off now I am just going to go ahead and use my olive oil super hole fix it spray and I'm just going to spray that underneath the lace on the side by my ear and I am gonna have to go in and put in a little bit more spray because I did not go up far enough but I'm using my blow dryer to speed up the process
when I get to the front of the hairline, I'm gonna pull those hairs off that they pretty much already pulled out. And I'm going to spray on top of the lace. Look how well they pre-plucked it. That looks so good. One thing I do wish that they did was pre-plucked it like this all the way around. Because on the sides by the ears, it's not as plucked as it is in the front. But of course, we are going to go ahead and fix that all up. So yeah, I'm just going to spray it on top of the lace. And then do the same thing that I did to the side by using the blow dryer to speed it up. I'm just going to comb out the hair. I did get a little bit of shedding, nothing too drastic. And then I am going to do a curved side part on this unit. And then I'm going to pin the hair and then work on that hair in the front. I'm going to cut those down and style it and use them as baby hairs. Now, sometimes I get some comments when I do baby hairs and people are just not for it, but you have to understand, you do not have to do that on your unit, I promise. If you don't like baby hairs, just don't use them. You could easily pluck those hairs out if you still want that pre-plucked hairline look but with curly hair i don't mind using baby hairs i think that they look really good i just feel like you just can't do too much so it's all up to you it's a personal preference you don't like this step you can skip past it or if you support your girl just keep on watching so i will be taking my time doing these baby hairs because i feel like they should not be rushed if you want them to come out correct i am using my she is bomb fuse foam to lay the front down i love to use this stuff i like to use it when i'm molding my hair and i also like to put it in my curly hair and i'll be using that later on when i wet the hair in the video so once i am satisfied with how it looks i will go ahead and take a satin head scarf and i will tie this unit down in the front and just let it set while i begin to work on the top of the unit now i'm just going to take some wax and then put it at the top of the unit by the parting space because one side of course looks a little bit bulkier and i want to make sure that this is laid down really flat i am using my kendra's boutique hot comb i get a lot of questions about this hot comb i will leave the link down below in the description area but this little thing gets hot if y'all haven't heard me say that before it gets hot it goes up to 500 degrees so you want to be very careful gonna flat iron some of the pieces throughout the hair where I seen some dents at if you guys are noticing I'm not using my Kaposi flat iron I picked up this one on Black Friday this is a baby list pro I believe and I caught it at a really good sale it was very expensive which kind of made me not want to get it but at the sale that I caught it on I said why not I want to try it because I heard good things about it going to go ahead and remove the scarf from the front and I am going to have to go back over those hairs in the front just to kind of make them look better because of course they got smushed with the scarf and then I'm going to take the hot comb and I still noticed that it was a little bit of humpiness so I'm going to part it in certain areas and then I'm just going to take the hot comb to kind of flatten it out that way it could lay better. I'm just going to take my powder and go around the hairline and into the parting space to conceal the knots and also make it look more natural. Now this is more of a transparent lace but they did pre-tint it. However, I do feel like even though the knots aren't completely like a deep bleach, I feel like the powder did take care of it. So this is what the unit is looking like guys while it is dry. Now with this unit, when it is flat iron, it's going to come off and give you like a kind of yakky, kinky straight look, which I like. It does not have a lot of shine to it. Um, it looks very thick and it does have some coarseness to it. So it is going to look natural. You might have to go in and trim up some pieces like on the ends, but for the most part, I feel like it looks really good. Once again, I have the 18 inches and this unit does go all the way up to 20 inches and starts at 10. And then the density amounts is 130, 150, and 180. To be honest, I think you will be fine getting the 150 and the 180.
think you could get away with the 130 percent however you are going to have to get the 130 in the more shorter lengths to not make it look too thin so now i'm just going to go in with my water bottle and we are going to work on making this unit wavy so i was very curious about doing this i did have to go in a good amount of times especially because the hair was pretty thick so i'm making sure to coat it really good and at first i wasn't seeing it and then once i started adding more water then the waviness just started coming into play and i was like okay wig i see you i see you and i haven't even brushed it out yet so i was getting really excited about this part making sure to rotate back and forth between the brush and also the water bottle just so that i can make sure the waves kind of form together everything went really well especially the more i drenched the hair the better it was looking and that is what one side is looking like it looks really pretty and i also did not get a lot of shedding the shedding was very minimal but to make the waves form together i'm going to go in with the she is bomb fuse foam and i'm going to run that throughout the hair and then i am going to scrunch it up I was unsure of how this was going to turn out, but it turned out really good. And I did not have to put in as much work as I thought I was gonna have to put in to make the waves pop back. And then the fuse foam just helped to set it all off. I'm gonna switch out of my robe because now it is wet. <laughs> and I'm gonna just let this kind of air dry. And it's not completely dry, but it dried down enough. And you can definitely see that this unit still looks very full and the density is just right. Now I did notice some longer pieces throughout the front. I am gonna have to end up chopping those off, the little scraggly pieces, but it was just easy for me to just go in and cut them. I could cut them a little bit more, especially when I turned around, I noticed I could cut them a tad bit more. In the wavy state, I did get a little bit of snags in the nape area. Nothing that I was not expecting, especially with this curl pattern. But like I said, the curls are just really pretty, especially when they dry down all the way. I wish the knots were bleached a little bit more, but the powder definitely took care of it and still made it look very realistic. I do like how they send the unit already flat iron. So you get this yakky straight, kinky straight kind of look. And then I do like how you can wet it. And then of course you get another look. So you get some versatility with this unit. But guys, let me know if you are feeling this look all together. If you like the straight look or if you are liking the wet and wavy look. If you are interested in this unit, I'm going to make sure to leave all the details down below guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn those notifications on share and like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys